Good evening and welcome to St John's Online and this service of Compline. My name is Margaret Stevens and I'm an Associate Minister at the Church in Egham and I will be leading this time of night prayer. Before we begin, uh, it's right that we pause and acknowledge the momentous events of today. This message was sent to all the parishes in the Guildford Diocese from Bishop Joe this afternoon. It is with great sadness that I write to confirm from Buckingham Palace the news of the death of His Royal Highness Prince Philip. His Royal Highness Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, has provided huge service to our nation and the Commonwealth, both on his own account and in his unswerving support of Her Majesty the Queen through the many joys and challenges of the past seven decades. Our thoughts and prayers today are with the Queen and members of the Royal Family, that they might know the presence of the Living God as they mourn his loss. May he rest in peace and rise in glory. So let's just take a moment now to remember our Sovereign, Queen Elizabeth, and all the family at this time. God of majesty, give rest to your servant Philip, who, having served his queen and country, has passed from this life, full of years, yet strong in spirit, as we give thanks for his life as prince and husband, as consort and family man. We pray that all that he has done may continue to bear fruit in the lives of individuals and in the life of this nation. To your honour and glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we turn to our night prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We bring our confession to our loving Heavenly Father. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, grant us pardon and forgiveness of all our sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and strength of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, 
creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. This evening we're going to just take a break from Matthew's Gospel. I'm just going to read Psalm 23 through slowly and give us a little bit of time to reflect personally on it. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil my cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We take a moment to reflect on those words. We come to our expressions of faith. Lord, you have always given bread for the coming day. And though I am poor, today I believe. Lord, you have always given strength for the coming day. And though I am weak, today I believe. Lord, you have always given peace for the coming day. And though of anxious heart, today I believe. Lord, you have always kept me safe in trials. 
and now, tried as I am, today I believe. Lord, you have always marked the road for the coming day. And though it may be hidden, today I believe. Lord, you have always lightened this darkness of mine. And though the night is here, today I believe. Lord, you have always spoken when time was right. And though you be silent now, today I believe. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. And as we come to our prayers, we pray for all who mourn, especially remembering our royal family, and ourselves as a nation and all who have lost loved ones over this time of pandemic. Almighty God, Father of all mercies and giver of all comfort, deal graciously we pray with all those who mourn, remembering especially today Elizabeth our Queen and her family as they mourn the loss of Prince Philip. May they cast their care on you and know the consolation of your love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we take time to pray in our own hearts now for those whom we know, who need our prayers very much at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us pray for our daily bread, as Jesus has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. 
may your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace and may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep for you alone Lord make us dwell in safety. Abide with us Lord Jesus for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. I am placing my soul and my body in thy safekeeping this night, O God. In thy safekeeping, O Jesus Christ. In thy safekeeping, O Spirit of perfect truth the three who would defend my cause be keeping me this night from harm. Amen. May the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be upon us and those whom we love tonight and always. Amen. Thank you for joining in this service this evening. May I wish you a good night and God bless. <laughs>